Shoot for the Stars, Aim for the Moon is the first studio and posthumous album from rapper Pop Smoke. The popularity of the hit single Dior turned him into the standard bearer for New York Drill until his untimely and tragic death. On this album, Pop Smoke covers a variety of genres, showing his mastery of drill while also branching into other more melodic and poppier sounds. New York Drill can be heard in a number of songs on this album, like Shoot for the Moon, Creature, and Tunnel Vision. So let's break down the sound of Pop Smoke's Shoot for the Stars, Aim for the Moon by making an instrumental that would fit on this album. The melodies in these drill songs may not be long, but they make up for it in complexity with obscure sounds and intricate rhythms. Just take Shoot for the Moon, featuring Quavo, produced by Wonder Girl, 5 Beats, and 808 Mellow. The melody is super short, made up of two different instruments. The more prominent sound is some mystery instrument panned a little to the right. Yes. <laughs> it seems to loosely follow a triple pattern, playing three notes per beat. It also only sticks to the bottom four notes in the C-sharp minor scale, sounding spooky not only because it's a minor key, but because it stays around the minor third and root note. The strange rhythm of this melody does leave some gaps that are filled by the other instrument, which is a little easier to identify as strings, panned a little to the left. Yes. The rhythm of this part also pretty much sticks to triplets, and it only uses two of the four notes played by the other instrument. Both of these sounds make up the short melody on Shoot for the Moon. We can find a melody with a little more instrumental variety on Tunnel Vision, produced by 808, Mello, Nagra, and Hackney. The foundation of the melody is this bell sound. It plays triplets and swung eighth notes, making for a fairly complex rhythm. In the first part, it plays an arpeggio mostly based around the G minor chord. It also happens to be in the key of G minor. The second part is based around the D minor chord. Behind these bells are some strings, quietly playing in the background. <laughs> these strings add some extra depth to the melody and line up with the chords played by the bells. Finally, there's also a flute on top of the melody. This makes for three completely different instruments, all playing within the same chords set by the bells. The way these melodies have conflicting rhythms and unorthodox sounds gives them that unsettling feeling found in New York Drill. Let's use these ideas to start a new instrumental for this album with the melody. We'll need a couple of different strange sounding instruments and a little bit of reverb to help them sound natural. We'll start with something a little more percussive, the guitarette from Omnisphere. Like the melodies we've looked at, this part is also playing within a minor chord. Here it's G sharp minor. Next we'll grab a completely different sound, a string pluck from the D50 in Omnisphere. This part brings in triplets to give this melody a more complex rhythm, and it also sticks within the same G sharp minor chord. The third part of the melody will be another completely different sound. A flute, specifically Omnisphere's windy pseudopan flute. The two notes here are again in the G sharp minor chord, the root in the fifth. We now have three different instruments playing different rhythms on a minor chord, and we can bring them together to get our finished melody. The most distinct part of any drill song is the bass line. It's made up of a sub bass, starting on the root note and then sliding all over the place. You can hear a tame version of this on Creature, featuring Sway Lee, produced by 808 Mellow. Here, the bass starts on B, the root note, and then only slides up a couple notes to F sharp, the fifth. These also happen to be the same two notes played by the lead melody. The bass line on Creature has that distinct drill sound, but doesn't have any crazy slides. We can find some of those on Aim for the Moon. This seems to be the standard bass pattern in New York Drill. It starts on the root note, stops, and then comes in again, sliding up a little higher. 
and then repeats the process, but on the second slide goes up as many as two octaves, hitting a bunch of notes. In one drill song, there's usually a number of variations on the bass line. The first verse of Aim for the Moon alone seems to have four different patterns. We can use these songs to create our own sub bass for our drill beat. The sound comes from a trimmed Ghost Hack 808 sample. It starts on the root note, in our case G sharp, stops, and then comes in again, sliding up to the minor third and then repeats the process, jumping instead two octaves. We can put this bass line under the melody we've created so far. While the bass is probably the most iconic sound in New York drill, the drums are a close second. In the simplest form, they feature closed hi-hats, snare, and a kick, like on Aim for the Moon. You don't know what you started, I pop a brick or retarded. I got the drum kick straight from the faucet. The hi-hats here follow a pattern that sets the foundation for the drums of New York Drill. It's similar to a triplet pattern, hitting on beats 1, 3 16th notes later, and the and of 2. The snares are less important, usually made fairly quiet. Here they hit on the first beat 3 and the and of 1. There's the kick, which needs to be loud enough to cut through the sub bass. And finally there's a little bit of auxiliary percussion, a gunshot on the downbeat, fitting for the generally violent themes of drill music. We can see what happens if you follow these rules and throw in a lot more sounds on Creature. There's a bunch of different hi-hats hitting pretty much all the time. A closed one that follows the drill pattern, another closed one providing rolls, and an open hi-hat. The snares again are quiet and it sounds like there may be as many as four different sounds. The kick drum again is loud and hits a little more frequently in this song and we get some more auxiliary percussion, like the bird call that's probably 808 Mellow's tag and another gunshot. We can follow these rules to put some drums on our New York drill instrumental. Like Creature, there's a bunch of different hi-hats here. A closed one following the standard New York drill pattern, another closed one providing rolls, and some more variety with an open hi-hat. The snare is again quiet, hits on beats 3, the and of 1, and beat 4. It's kind of strange to have a snare drum wait all the way until the final beat 4, but in drill, all that really matters is the first snare hits on beat 3. There's a super loud kick drum that kind of lines up with the sub bass, and finally some sort of auxiliary percussion on the downbeat, and here it's a stomp with some delay added. Combining everything we've made so far gives us the finished instrumental. Shoot for the Stars, Aim for the Moon has a number of songs that encapsulate the New York drill sound, like Aim for the Moon, Creature, and Tunnel Vision. The melodies of the style feature short loops, made up of a few obscure instruments playing complex rhythms. Each part has a sound distinct from all the others, playing parts that are spacey and minor, leaving room for other instruments in the melody. The bass lines create the most recognizable part of the sound, starting on root notes, leaving a fair amount of space, and then sliding like crazy, changing as many as two octaves. The drums feature hi-hats, snares, and kicks. The hi-hats follow a specific, almost triplet-like pattern before beats three, after that hitting somewhat infrequently. More variety can also be added with extra closed or open hi-hats. The snares are quiet, while the kick drum is incredibly loud, having to cut through the sub bass. Hopefully this gives you a better understanding of the New York drill sounds on Shoot for the Stars, Aim for the Moon, and rest in peace, Pop Smoke. Thanks for listening. Leave a comment and let me know what you think of Pop Smoke's Shoot for the Stars, Aim for the Moon. In the comments is a free download link for a bunch of drill melodies I went through making the beat for this video. They're all royalty free, so go crazy. Make sure to subscribe to Sound Selection on YouTube and follow on Instagram.